guys, I'm back with another tutorial. Um, it's been a minute, so I'm back with some new products. So today we're going to try, let's see. <clears throat> so I'm trying to do, oh, I'm trying to try um, powder foundations instead of the liquid. Um, I heard it's better for oily skin. Um, and the foundation powders I'm going to try is, I have two colors uh, by MAC. And these are the same two colors that I use in liquid. And fortunately, they are the same color in the compact. Um, I know a lot of people are concerned about the colors not being the same in the compact, but these are. And this is the NW48. Again, which I have in the liquid, which is good. But again, I heard powder is good for oily skin. And this is the NW50. I can use either one. Sometimes I use them both at the same time with my liquids. And then we're also going to do um, the Fenty. Now, we're not going to try all these in one night. I'm going to do um, a look for each shade. And then I'm going to do a look for um, both of the shades combined in the MAC and then both of the shades combined in the Fenty because that's what I do with my liquids. Um, and in the Fenty, this is the 450. Okay, now I didn't have a problem with opening up this earlier. <clears throat> this is the 450, which is what I use in the liquid and this is the 440 which i also use and again i do blend those in the liquid so again we are going to try a look with both of those blended all right so today we're going to um we're going to try the 48 nw in the mac today and like I said, again, tomorrow I'm going to come back with um, the 50 in MAC and then the 15 and so on and so on. All right, so let's get started. <clears throat> I don't know what to do for sound. I hate doing my makeup. In the quietness, so I want to know what sounds that I can use that it won't get flagged. Um, I'm gonna have to Google that because it's really quiet. <sighs> I don't feel in my eyebrows sometimes, I do, sometimes, I don't. I just shape them up, I don't feel a man with nothing. And it still looks nice, you know. So how have you guys been handling the um the COVID and stuff? It's really, it's really, really bad. Really bad. And I don't like it. And if you have any questions or anything you would like to ask, um, you can leave it in the comment below.
Mm -mm. <clears throat> I forgot to go out today to get the M124 Morphe brush. Um, I heard that's good for uh, cutting creases, not your yeah, cutting creases. Um, so I want to try that brush. Um, today I was thinking we're going to do like a purple and a yellow and a, I don't know if it's a white, maybe I saw in the picture because I always create my looks. So it could have been a white that I saw and it looked like it had a little glitter on it. So maybe it was the white because I don't even think I have like silver eyeshadow. Yeah. I'm not a makeup artist. This is like me doing these videos. I like for people like beginners, maybe. I just like doing these videos for people who don't know how to do makeup or just starting. I'm not a professional. But I've been doing it for a couple of years now, maybe three, four, five, maybe. I've always worn makeup, but um, I'm actually been getting really good since the last couple of years. Better than I was. So I uh, practice make perfect. Practice makes perfect. It really does. And I am proud of how far I come. Yep. So proud. Because if you see some of my pictures of my past and you see them now, oh, they'd be like, okay, yeah. You done came up. be like yes ma'am you didn't came up so you want to put the darker on top and the light at the bottom <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> so everything I applied today besides uh, my eye look will be like powder. Everything will be powder except for what I did around the eyes. And I noticed that I had been trying to beat the time to have my video under an hour. And I'm like... The other young ladies I be watching, I'm like, her videos be three or four hours. So, I used to be trying to beat under an hour, but now I'm just going to um, take my time. If that's all right with y'all, you know. I know some people like to go on and get it over with. And some people like it when you go slow or whatever. So, they can grasp the concept of what they're doing. And I like taking my time so so your look can be really cute. You know? Because sometimes when you're rushing, you mess up. <clears throat> Excuse me. And you'll see me looking straight or looking this way because I have a mirror right here. My vanity mirror. And then you'll also catch me looking down because I have a, another mirror that helps with um, 
getting close and magnifying so I can really see what I'm doing. I know a lot of people use the hand mirrors when they're doing their videos to see their look and to see what they're doing, but I can't, I can't. I can't hold that mirror in my hand and try to do my look. So I do what I can, which it will probably be a good thing to do, but. <clears throat> But what I've been doing for years so far has been working. <clears throat> so basically, you want to do was what works best for you. Okay. Let's see. Here we're gonna do a purple. Let's see. Oh, this would be a cute purple right here. Mm. And it's another color that I like in one of these palettes. Let me see. Mm. I have so many palettes. It's like an, another darker color. It ain't this one, but I can try to use this one. And that looks like a blue from the one I just showed you. Because this busted open it looks like a plum. And I'm going for more purple look. Looks like plum to me. But let me see another color. <clears throat> So I'm gonna try to do that pinkish purplish color right here. It looks like a plum to me. And I'm gonna also mix that with this purple um, from this palette. And then that other purple plum that came from this palette. Mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm -mm. All right, so let's get started.
my cousin used to ask, why do you go all the way outside of your... I like that because it helps with the look you're trying to create. And you don't go that far out. You just go out a little. <clears throat> you go a little past your eyebrow. Right. I'm going to get the other color. See what that looks like. Mm, looks like that plum is more pigmented. Uh, this color is more pigmented than the other color. Mm. Well, okay. Yeah, got some Hey, you guys. Say hey to the hubby. <clears throat> well, say he done got something accomplished. So I think we can move ahead and do what we got. Let's do cut this crease. <clears throat> mm -mm. So many concealers that I cut my crease with. Okay, baby, I'm recording. Me want to talk to you the most when you're trying to do something. They said you gonna talk to me the whole video. What? You gonna talk to me the whole video? I'm trying to talk to my 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 you YouTube people. Watch. Oh, <laughs> you is so mean. I'm <laughs> this man is funny. He said, "Girl, ain't nobody watching you." Ain't nobody even watching you. That's messed up. Baby said, You guys are in bed. There's nobody watching.
Good, good, good. I'm not having. Now, you guys, I always have a problem with this next eye, so bear with me. You might see me doing a little erasing and all of that with this next eye. When I say this left, this left eye is, you will not believe. I don't think this is, I think this is a little deeper than that. Okay, so let's see what we can do to straighten that out. Mm -mm. <coughs> let's see what we got over here. Do what I normally do when I don't think it's right. Go back over it. With this portion. That's what I do. Go back over it. Mm -mm -mm. See, I told you. It's always this side. But that's what you do. You just go back over it. I just knew I was about to be on point with this. Mm.
Let's see. Let's go ahead and do it again. Let me get this right here. Get this part right here in line in order. <clears throat> Again, no two eyes are never alike. Never. Okay. And no two eyes are really never ever like. I don't care if it's the. I don't care if it's. If it's the eyeliner. They won't be matching. It'll be something on both eyes that will not be matching. And if you can find somebody or show me who somebody that you know that both of their eyes will be matching um, when it comes to either the cut crease on both sides. I'm talking about everything is matching from the eyeliner to the cut crease um, to the colors or whatever. Yeah. All right. Okay. My right is always going to be my my perfection now. <clears throat> Try to take a beautiful blue, a yellow, mm -mm -mm -mm. oh my God, where did my mirror crack? I'm hurt. Glad I don't use it. That's a bummer. Mm. Mm, hurt about that for real, for real. Mm. Mm. Trying to make this as bright and as light as I can. Because the more, the lighter the base 
uh, the brain of your colors. So. Mm -hmm. A little wavy, a little different on one side and the other, but it's still cute. Okay. So I'm going to try to go in. Mm. I'm going in the back first. Mm -hmm. I like to start from the back to the front, but... You can start from the front to the back or whatever works for you. Yep, you always want to do what works for you. Color, it almost reminds me of the color we just used. Mm -mm 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 -mm. use my other brush and normally I use a flat brush from when I'm filling my cut crease Ooh. let's see mm-mm mm -mm -mm. I'm going to use this color because that's what I used on that side before I started using the blue. And I just mixed it in. Mm -mm -mm. Which I have, should have used the blue from the beginning. Mm. 
Alright, next we're gonna use a yellow and then we're gonna do a white. I wanna should I use this though? Maybe yeah. It's not the same palette. <coughs> And sometimes you can pat on the color also to make it look bright. That's so funny. Look at that. Mixing that yellow with that blue, turning it green. <sighs> mm. The power of color changer. You know, that in school, mixing your colors, turning them in another color. This would have been cute if I was doing a halo effect or eye look. Uh, and the halo eye look is when you put the end color on the end and uh, on the ends and put a, a different color like this gel I have in the middle. That would have been a halo effect. <coughs> yep. Mm -mm. All right, now we're gonna go in with the white, and then we're gonna go back and uh, what they call it, blend it out, so it can look like everybody is going in with everybody. <clears throat> the most important thing about the outlook is the blending. They will crucify you for real. Like, it's real out here. If you don't get that blending, you can also do a little glitter on the whites. This white looks like it's coming out of this palette. It also looks like it has some type of shimmer in it. Uh, whoops. I'm still gonna add some glitter. You gotta take your time because you wanna stay in within the crease limit. You don't wanna go over. How's it looking so far, you guys? You going to bed, baby? I said you going to bed? 
Oh no, he might be in there folding them clothes up. All right. Mm -mm -mm. So now we're going to go back Okay Go back in with the yellow To make sure it's blended And then I also go back in with that blue. But I swear this looks green because of that blue. <clears throat> Okay, so then I get my blending brush and I try to blend them out. The blending brush doesn't have anything on it, but it helps with blending your shadows. Okay, and then I'm going to clean it up and then come back and put my um, glitter on and then my lashes. And for this part, a lot of people use um, tape. But I'm used to just um, cleaning it up like this. Again, it's, it comes back to um, doing what works best for you. And then sometimes you don't have to clean it up. You can just leave it be and then work around the shadows to make it look like whatever you're trying to make it look like. So now I'm going to put on my mascara. 
I'm gonna find some more. I like the mini mascara from MAC, but I need something for right now until I'm able to order some more because it takes longer in the mail for stuff to come now. And you know, you be needing that right then. So I gotta find me something else for the time being. <clears throat> and also, I also put on my face primer. If you're oily, you have to use the face primer. But let me not forget my glitter. And I could use my loose powder glitters like this. But today, I'm gonna use my um, palette glitter. And it's so bomb, like, I love it. You don't have to get no glue on the stick to go in and get the glue powder. You know, with this, you have to put some glue on your eye and then stick the powder on. With this, they need to come out with a whole palette of nothing but glitters in different colors. Like, that glitter is just a silver glitter and a gold glitter. When I say it comes out, on your ass, so like it's just bomb. You're about to see. You are about to see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Find my little brush that I normally leave to put it on there, which I don't see. So we're gonna use this brush by Sigma. Call that the pencil brush. These glitters come goes on like foundation. I'm not foundation, I'm sorry. These glitters go on like um, you know, like your eyeshadow. It's an eyeshadow glitter. And I love it because again, you don't have to go through that step or that process. I wish I knew <clears throat> how to design a palette. Now watch somebody try to steal what I'm saying and then do it. If it's not one already out, I will turn this palette into different colors like it is and put glitter in it like these two. Like this will have that own glitter color. Like all these will have whatever color this is, it'll be that glitter, all whole palette. Cause then this right here will, you wouldn't even have to use these. See how it goes on like eyeshadow? It's an eyeshadow glitter. And it's so cute. I hate when my makeup be popping. And then I gotta take it off because I'm just doing a video. And because I'm not going anywhere. I'm just doing uh, makeup videos to show how these powder foundations work. Even though um, I know it's other people that's already done did a review on these foundations. I'm just going to be a part of that team. Okay, so now, like I said, I always put my primer on my face before I do my eyelashes. And then I turn around, after I do my eyelashes, I put more primer on. And these are the primers that I use. So I think I'm just going to stick with this one. I said I'm going to try the Calamai Lotion. I heard that was good. Uh, I used to use the Magnesia, M-O-M, Mecca Magnesia. But, um... I think that made me too dry looking because when I first did it, I don't know if I put too much of it on. And I think I put it all over instead of just in my T-zone. I'm not sure, but I heard it wasn't really good for your skin. So it's because it's something that you, you know. And this, one, and this primer right here is by J. LaRue. It's good, but it's not better than this Becca. I've been using this since I've started <clears throat> using foundation. So, and sometimes I put both together. Sometimes I use them separate. 
I'm good. It just depends on, on what you prefer. Everything is all about what you prefer, what you like. Because what you like, somebody else don't like doesn't mean you can't do it the way you like. Be your own person. Do your own thing. I love it. I love it when I do my own thing. I love being different. I do. And that's just me. Don't let what I like affect your day. Or affect whatever it is you have going on. You know? Mm -mm, mm -mm. And your T-zone is really like here. This is your T-zone. It's like a T. So that's where you will put your primer. That's where the most oils build up at. If I'm not quite correct, but that's where my oils build up at. That's why they call it the T-zone. All right, let me get my lashes. Let me do my bottom eyeliner first. Let me sharpen this pencil. A girl job is never done. I think me cleaning up my my look, my eye look kind of took away the wave effect. I mean, you could try not see it a little. That's just my opinion. Because normally when I do the wave effect, you can actually see where I done it because I clean it up. Because normally I don't clean it up. Um, Normally I just clean up around it. But I actually sharpen it. So. But it's still cute. You know? All right, and this eye pencil is 24-7 Perversion by Urban Decay. I love it. Um, <clears throat> I'll be procrastinating to do these eyelashes. Sometimes they give me a hard time, sometimes they don't. So let's see what they do today. A lot of people use the tool to put the lashes on, but I can't. I have to use my fingers. Um, that's just what it is. Okay. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Um. Mm 
Okay. All right, so I'm applying my eyelashes. I think I put that too close in there. <coughs> See, so it's giving me a hard time then. Trying this again. Okay. Let's do the next one. There we go. I use the same brand of lashes until they stop, until they discontinue them in the market. Then I switch them up and, and try another one. There's something similar. And they give you that option. They said this is something similar to what you used to have. <clears throat> and out of 10, it, it, it did you. So I'm gonna put on a little more in that T zone. And I also uh, realize when it comes to um, powder foundations, it's good to use a blending brush and not a, a blending sponge and not a brush, not a brush. Cause the, it's the, they say the sponge absorb more, but I think it only absorbs more when you use the liquid not when you use the powder because when it comes to my uh, liquid foundations i use the brush <laughs> with the powders i use 
a sponge. And And you see I'm only putting it in the T-zone. <clears throat> I'm sorry for that, you guys. towel and a little cute little small little trash container over because you're going to need it. Mm -mm -mm. So I'm letting that dry and when you do this you can tell that it's still wet. You want to put it on dry. You don't want to put it on while it's wet. this dry <coughs> it's a couple more of um and I finally got me a ring light you guys um and it's a couple more of palettes that I would like to get but I have so many right now so I'm putting a hold on that So I can get some of those out because you know, foundations, um, eyeshadows, everything in the makeup has an uh, expiration date. Okay, so I think it's dry because I don't feel the coldness. So we're going to go in again today with the uh, 48s NW. And again, you want to use a, and it also come with their own sponge, but I like real technique sponges. And I do another all brand, but it has to be similar, because if not, it's not good. All right. So here we go, you guys. It's almost like you can tell where I put the where I put the um mm. 
I mean, it's like you can almost tell where I put the Mm. Okay, so that's what it is. I probably ain't clean enough on here. I'm being stingy with them. <laughs> so I'll be stingy with the foundation. Because I see the more I put up here, it's going away. Mm. I was about to start panicking, <clears throat> but I see I wasn't using enough. I'm like, don't be scared of it. Get it, off, get it off the brush, baby. Get it off. Get, get it off the sponge. Don't be scared. Don't be scared of it. So now I know I have to pack it on. And then I put that on. Like I said, with the liquid foundation, I normally um, blend them. I can use them separate or I can blend them, but <clears throat> I normally blend them. It do takes a lot to to make sure you have everything covered. Cause with a brush runner, you just glad. But this we have to. Okay. So again, that was forty eight. I know some people wait to put their lip on until they're done with their look, but nothing. Get rid of this one and use two. And this is the Be Some More lip gloss. I used to like it, but the more I wore it, it's like it's um too gummy, like too too sticky, like it don't glide on. It don't. It's like. Two, two. See that? My other lip glosses don't do that. <clears throat> so I keep 
keep it by mixing in with my NYX um, peanut butter. See my NYX. Don't be doing that. Get ready to do my contour. <laughs> Ew, excuse me. <sighs> and I contour with the True Complexion Contour Palette. This is also a powder. Again, I don't use any liquids um, except for my foundation liquids, which I'm still going to be using. And so I decide if I'm going to keep using the powder and the liquids, but I still might keep the liquids on hand. Just in case. <clears throat> oh my god, that went on so smooth and so pretty. <clears throat> you want to stay between here, between, no, you don't want to go no lower than that. When you're doing it, the contour. I mean, you can. Again, this is what you prefer, but this is what I do. In circles around my face because some people like the contour just right here just right there and I go all the way around again do what works for you <clears throat> oh and this is how it looks I use the middle um, for what I just did and this I use that for the on them yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, now I'm going to set my makeup with the powder and it's derma blend. Love, love, love derma blend. <clears throat> Some people like to, to set there, set and let it set. Not me. I go ahead and blend it in. I don't let it sit. And I'll also go on my lips with this as well. Alright, 
All right. Now what I'm going to go to <coughs> is take this brush and put some bronzer in this area and around that area with the Morphe bronzer in the color Supreme. They have two other colors as well. So now I'm going to go all over my face with the MAC Mineralizing Skinner Skin Finish Powder. That's also to set the, the entire face. This was the first thing I ever got when I first started pretending or thinking like I knew what I was doing. And a bit more known what I was doing when it came to this makeup. So now I'm just gonna go in with my highlighter. And this is by Julius Place. I don't try two different other brands that kind of like. Uh, um, I do like next to this one and the one in the Black Radiance palette. I know some people um, use wands and things of that nature for their highlighter, but I like to use my fingers. Yeah. And it could be brighter, but I don't want it to be Highlight the highlight, which is keen and nothing wrong with some people, you know, but so what do you guys think? This is the finished look. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um some people use setting sprays, matted setting sprays, but I was I heard that. It makes it, um, if you got oily skin, it doesn't do um, well. Even though if the setting spray says matte on it, it, I heard it's still not good for people with oily skin. And since I haven't been using it, it doesn't make me look oilier once uh, after hours of foundation wear. I was noticing that it did make me a little bit more oilier. So I stopped using it and I just set my face with that skin finish by MAC. So what do you guys think about today's look? I'm sorry about that. Um, iPhone disconnected. It. And again, you guys, this is my workstation, my new ring light, finally. I've never had one, so thank you for joining, and stay tuned for tomorrow.